drawing with scissors to cut right into color makes me think of a sculptor's carving into stone. Prisoner, an artist must never be a prisoner even to himself, a prisoner of style, a prisoner of reputation, a prisoner of good fortune. In his 70s, Henri Matisse lived some of the toughest years of his life. In 1939, his wife, Amélie, the subject of some of his most popular paintings, left him. Two years later, he was diagnosed with intestinal cancer, which, especially at his age, was extremely life-threatening. When he miraculously survived through a risky surgery, he saw this event as some sort of rebirth, the beginning of a second life. His new life, however, would be filled with challenges. He was without Amélie, he lived in occupied France, and most importantly, he was now confined to a bed or a wheelchair because of his life-saving surgery. Did not the Goncourt brothers tell us that Japanese artists of the Great Period changed their names several times in their lifetimes? This pleases me. They wanted to safeguard their liberties. This rebirth served to safeguard Matisse's liberties, to prevent him from being a prisoner of style, of reputation, of himself. This rebirth brought him to completely revolutionize the way he created art. Because he couldn't stand up anymore, Matsis had to improvise a new way of creating. He would now draw with scissors. The cutout really took form in Matsis's career through his art book, Jazz, a direct reference to improvisation. He published it in 1947, but started working on it in 1943 with the original intention of making it about the circus. It's a fitting theme for the style that is the cutout. It's somewhat playful, perhaps even dreamlike. The bright colors of the gouache painted paper coincide with the colors and the projected lights of a circus. But the circus isn't all that jovial. Many of the circus prints relate to pain or even death. Take for example the Nightmare of the White Elephant. It recreates the very popular image of the elephant balancing on a ball, but it's being trapped by dark figures and being stabbed by red spears. We can also look at the horse, the rider, and the clown, where a whip subjugates a horse, or we can look at Pierrot's funeral, where a death coach is represented carrying the body of the famous clown Pierrot. The swimmer in the tank witnessed by Matisse at the Folie Bergère could be interpreted as the short moment between your birth and your death, both dark spaces being the void before and after our lives. This relativizes the short amount of time we spend actually living. A sword swallower seems to be represented choking, and it's a figure that reappears here in Monsieur Loyal, a reference to a circus conductor. Don't worry if you don't see the sword swallower here, this looks rather like the profile of General de Gaulle, but when turned upside down, it shows a swordless sword swallower. The current political situation in France with the Nazi occupation could also be referenced here, with the portrait of the wolf, perhaps symbolizing Hitler. But my favorite image in Matisse's jazz is undeniably Icarus. You see the mythological figure of Icarus who, according to the myth, flew too close to the sun. The heat of the sun melted his wings, he fell in the sea, and drowned. This story has often been used as a warning against overambition. Perhaps this could be a metaphor Matsis is applying to himself, or maybe, in the context of the circus, this could be an acrobat who, overly ambitious, falls under the bright lights of the projectors. Whether the yellow sparks symbolize the stars Icarus crossed, the projectors on a falling acrobat, or even the bombs of World War II, this image beautifully exemplifies the cutouts in its hard edges, its bright colors, and its simple composition. Matsis would make more of these compositions, cutting out different figures on simple backgrounds until, in 1952, 
he'd make his Blue Nudes series. It wasn't the first time Metzis created a Blue Nude. For example, in 1907, he painted the Blue Nude Souvenir of Biskra. After coming back from a trip to Algeria in 1906, in which he didn't paint a single picture, he remembered the Biskra Oasis. However, the only reference here to Biskra is the palm tree in the background. The nude, for example, was taken from a sculpture he worked on that shattered, hence the jaggedness of the figure. Let's go back to his later blue nudes. The sculptural element here is not entirely gone. Matsis, in a way, sculpted the paper, cutting right into color like a sculptor carving into stone. The Blue Nudes also share similar positions to earlier works by Matsis, but Matsis only retraced those compositions from memory, like a souvenir of his earlier work, of his past life. However, those Blue Nudes were far from being improvised. For example, Blue Nude 4 took Matsis and his assistants up to two weeks to make. Matsis, not being able to walk, would have his assistants constantly pin and unpin the different parts of the composition until he was satisfied. If you think that working on these one meter tall compositions with this much precision must have been arduous, then let me show you Matsis's swimming pool also made in 1952. During a hot day, Matsis decided to go to a pool in Cannes. However, because of the heat and because of his old age, he had to go back home. This prompted him to create his own swimming pool in his dining room. A strip of white paper was placed on the room's four walls and Matsis positioned different figures along it. You can see swimmers, fish, jellyfish, starfish, all floating in a dynamic fluidity. The artwork refers to water not only with its blue color, but also with the splashes of forms that sometimes leap out of the white background. About five months ago, Nerdwriter published a video on how the world became a De Chirico painting, and it made me think. Which artwork does COVID make me think of? Matisse's swimming pool would have to be it, not because we could interpret the pandemic in the image, but because the image was itself a product of isolation, something we've experienced more than ever in the past few months. Matsis created his own pool because of the isolation caused by both his old age and his health problems, something many of us will probably experience eventually. But COVID made this isolation in some way relatable, and with this experience, we can see Matsis' pool and his cutouts in general in a totally different light. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing if you have already. And I'd like to thank especially You Design I Write, Kohler, and every other patron for supporting the channel. If you also want to support the channel, check out patreon.com forward slash the canvas.